Hey everyone, Mike here, Rusty Garage and Homestead. These Polaris Rangers from the factory do not have a lot of dry storage or clean storage. They do have some dry storage, let me show you. So underneath the front seat here, the driver's seat, it does have storage. It's not necessarily clean. There's nothing that seals it, but it does stay fairly dry up under here. And in the rear of the machine, same on the driver's side, there's a storage underneath this seat. But you can tell the back side of this gets pretty dirty, pretty dusty, nothing sealed off in here. This side over here normally has a tray where you can flip this seat up, but it's a real shallow tray, kind of the same deal. Everything gets real dirty up under there. You've also got this storage up here on the front. There's a cubby up here and right here. Uh, it's a dry storage, not necessarily a clean storage like the others. You can see that's better than the ones in the rear. And the glove box, kind of the same deal. That's about the cleanest storage there is on this machine. So we got a product sent to us from Star Knight MT that is going to allow us to have a dry slash clean storage on the Players Ranger. So let's take a look at it. Okay, here's the box. I'll go ahead and throw up on the screen uh, this product from their website or Amazon, whichever I can find it on. Okay, that's it. See? Star Knight MT. Now this storage is going to go under the passenger side up on the front right under the seat. Now I do have the floor mats on there and this still should fit clear just fine if you have the floor mats on your Ranger. So the storage container does come with a lock and hardware because you can fasten this through your floorboard where it's more of a permanent mount where it's not gonna go anywhere. It does have the seal up around the door that presses up against this little raised lip on here to seal everything off from water and dust. So this latch on the front is lockable. You can run a lock right through there if you have anything that you need to keep secure, not keep anyone getting anything. Now the storage container itself on the inside, the opening for this is nine and an eighth by four and three quarters. And inside height, right at 11 inches. Let's see if I can get a width, 11 inches by almost 13 inches. So you can get quite a bit of stuff inside of this storage. So if you're wanting to permanent mount this thing, it comes with brackets. This, this round hole here will get a coarse threaded Allen headed screw. That's what will mount down through the floorboard itself. And then these here, they ship a bunch of carriage bolts and these carriage bolts fit through the bracket and go through the storage container. You can see down in the bottom of the storage container, there is three holes. There's three spots for three brackets. That's what they sent. So if you mount it this way, it will be secure. So if you do want this storage container to be 100% waterproof, you will have to mount it permanent to the floor because they did send several of these uh, rubber washers that'll fit on the inside and then a flat washer and then a nut to take up where they pre-drilled the holes into the storage container. I guess your other option possibly if you did not want to permanently mount it would be to put silicone or something of that nature around the pre-drilled holes. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this thing tossed up under the seat and see how it fits. Okay, and all we gotta do for just putting it in there, let's flip the seat up and set it down in here. Now you can see, even with the floor mats, there's still room up under here. So if you had somebody sitting here all the time, it would probably be fine. I think it would be best to go ahead and permanently mount this. But to do that, we are gonna have to cut around our floor mats. So I'm not gonna do that just yet. We're gonna stick it up in here and use it as is, because I think it's still gonna work out just fine. I think if you were riding by yourself, you could probably stick some sort of a bracket over here on this console and wrap a bungee around this just to keep it sucked up to that. Or if you had your doors on, like most people probably do, you wouldn't have to worry about it coming out at all. So this thing does actually fit up here pretty nice. It's gonna add quite a bit of storage, dry storage, clean storage to have on the Ranger itself. So I'm really looking forward to putting this thing to use. I think it's gonna help out. So storage in general on these Rangers is kind of limited, especially if you go with like the cab model, like the North Star, the big cubby that's down low, that's just open. You, your heater and everything else goes up there. So that takes away from some of it. I've got a little more storage on this machine because it is a crew model and there is a little bit of storage on the back in the passenger row. So I think anytime you can add storage to these machines, you're better off. Leave a comment if something like this you'd be interested in or you think that these machines do need more storage or is this something you'd buy for your machine? So if you're interested in this product, I'll put a link to this product and to Star Knight MT's store down in the description box. They sell stuff for a lot of different makes and models, not just Polaris Rangers. So if you're interested in any sort of dry storage like this, go ahead and check it out. So do you all think that these machines come with enough storage from the factory? 
Or is there something that they could do different? I think a lot of these aftermarket companies that make products like this for these machines is becoming very crucial for these machines because I feel that there's not enough storage on these machines, especially, I just use this thing around the farm, hauling barbed wire and fence clips and just a, a whole realm of different things. But if you were going on some sort of a trail ride where you're gonna be gone for a while, added storage, added places to keep things dry, things like that is extremely handy. Or if you're taking your machine on like a week long trip up through the mountains or something like that, down the coast, whatever it is, uh, doing camping off of it, different things like that, having to be able to have the option of having more dry storage or clean storage or whatever, I think is really gonna help. So everyone, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one, thanks.